द होल सिंड्रोम पी सी ओ एस इज पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग वन एग पर मंथ द ओवरी स्टार्ट मेकिंग मल्टीपल स्मॉल एग्स सो इट इज पॉलिक राइट सो वो माला कैसी होती है बीज के जैसे ऐसे ओवरी में बहुत सारे अंडे बन जाते सो नन ऑफ देम मैच्योर एंड नन ऑफ देम रप्चर एंड शी डजेंट हैव पीरियड एट द राइट टाइम एंड शी कीप्स ऑन पुटिंग वेट नाउ द मेन ट्रीटमेंट फॉर पीसीओएस इज एक्सरसाइज थैंक यू सो मच वी टेल देम वी गिव देम कॉन्फिडेंस वी टेल देम लूज टेन परसेंट ऑफ योर एग्जिस्टिंग वेट टेन परसेंट ऑफ योर एग्जिस्टिंग वेट एंड यू गोन टू बी गुड Welcome to another episode of Fit Friday with KJ in association with Abu Barodra. And today we're going to discuss something very, very important. हम बात करने वाले हैं आज जननी के बारे में, माँ. And for that, I've come to Sagar Hospital, and I'm in conversation with Dr. Preeti Shah. Madam, welcome to this show. And uh, through you, we're going to learn a lot today. My pleasure. To start with, with your experience of more than 30 years as being a gynecologist, could you give us throw some light on? how the mother has changed in all these years so a pregnancy that time was not a big thing there was not much infertility like you see nowadays there are so many mushrooming ivf centers right why because these girls now have changed a lot right in past 3 decades if you ask me the whole practice has changed of of as in the stream of gynecology yes okay so it was like 30 years back we never used to tell the mothers that ye khana hai ye nahi khana hai ye karna hai ye nahi karna hai aise nahi karte sunna hai ghar walon ka it was accepted that the mother in laws and mother know much more than the girl when she gets pregnant and they used to follow their advice because they had babies themselves yeah exactly. that's true yes and now it is not the same the since the education level of the girls have increased at times they feel they know much more than their mothers and mother in laws and if if it comes from a professional they seek the advice of a professional but then they do not follow it all the time i'm sorry to say that because we also tell them there's certain kind of a diet to be followed right. certain kind right. of an exercise routine to be followed some hours of sleep now they are nowadays because of this whatsapp and uh, internet they are locked on to their laptops and whatsapp till late in the night they sleep late hours so that all is not done during pregnancy all these was not there 30 years back true true so that is how the whole pregnancy has changed mothers yeah. have started working their eating habits have changed they do not exercise they are on to table and chair all the time absolutely earlier as you said very rightly is that a a, 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 a woman who would get married her objective would be possibly to have a healthy family have good kids take care of the home but that perception is completely changing and i i completely respect that particular thing because eventually it's their life and their decision what to do with that but on the other hand after they decide that they want to have a baby most of the time since i i run a gym most of the times there people actually i i meet women who have just got pregnant and stuff and they come up with this weird weird things that the doctor has said not to exercise or something has happened this way no no i think they are getting it wrong right it is never the doctor who says don't exercise it is like we restrict only a few patients who have problem True. not to exercise during pregnancy or when we advise them bed rest otherwise we divide the pregnancy into this all those nine months into first three months as first trimester the mid trimester and the last, last three trimester. months is the last sem so the first three months we definitely ask them to walk if they are already gymming like majority of the girls are nowadays or they are doing zumba or exercises we tell them what to cut down and there's something like a pregnancy gym routine they can do squats they can do butterflies they can do lunges 
but we restrict lifting weights right body we weight workout yes we restrict that right. that part right or if they are skipping or see certain exercises like walking cycling swimming they are all i mean we are all for it you have to do it there are people who swim 9 months so you mean to say so, that the uh, the mother can go in for low impact exercises for the entire 9 yes, months yes i mean i don't advise them horse riding yes i understand so that kind of an exercise is not permissible true but there is something like if you go to any western world you will find mid trimester uh, females even running i know women who are even squatting 100 kg till a day before they delivered exactly and gave normal birth you know in fact squat helps because it opens up your pelvis it strengthens strengthens your muscles which are supposed to exercise during labor pain true true you can really take your pains well and you can really push well true so in fact squats are, is one exercise which helps because then the baby descends much faster you, you have you have mentioned the best statement till now in all my interviews i, I mean i never heard about squats any doctor talking to me about squats but yes there's one person who no, told we, me squats are the most them, important yeah see we teach them that okay yes you put on a lot of weight mm-hmm. so you cannot do it so you hold a table or you hold a pillar and you squat in fact you'll be surprised to know or maybe you're aware of it that in olden days especially in gujaratis they'll say bai ki do che my grandmother huh. or my mom has said ek room nu kachra putu karo karo last yes. one month that means you sweep and mop the floor now why that because your hip flexors exactly, are opening your pelvic is opening exactly, absolutely because you're exercising your pelvic muscles and this pelvic muscles are the muscles that are going to exercise for the whole labor true whether the labor is 5 hours 6 hours 10 hours true and if you're exercising you can push really well and the labor shortens right so ultimately it will help the patient she right. have to take less pains absolutely and the labor is much easier so if you follow even the olden times they used to work till then Yes of course. Even say I was working the last moment. I was cooking or I was washing clothes when and my water broke. Pains, yes, yes, and yes. my bag bag of water broke and I went to the hospital and I delivered in 3 hours. Yes, yes. So why did that happen? Because she was working all the time. What are the biggest uh, issues that a pregnant woman actually talks to you about? Like when you said a stiff neck or or tight hamstring or something. Which the, is the most the common worst, of them? Worst, worst and the most common is backache. Okay. Because in pregnancy the spine get, is carrying extra weight in the center right so there's a change in the shape of the spine right, it right. becomes more lordotic right. what we call as lordosis of pregnancy yes, you yes, know how yes. the lords yes walk. yes yes so a pregnant female walks like that right so all her back muscles are gone right so unless she exercises her back muscles are never going to return to normal and if she doesn't want to feel that back ache we tell them to go to a physiotherapist or go to a good gym class or go, do some exercises they'll say time nahi hai Your time know. set होता नहीं है. Actually, you can take out time. It hardly takes, barely takes twenty minutes for the back exercises. Yeah, not more than that. And if you do little floor, it is going to help the back. See, I I'm not asking them to do planks, but at least they can do little floor exercises. Absolutely. That will really help them. Absolutely. Absolutely. That will really help them. Absolutely. हमारे शास्त्रों में भी योग का एक पूरा schedule है कि इतना करो pregnancy में. Yes, there is. There is. There is. There is. So it will help you to deliver good. Right. So the same are a little modified exercises, and you do them, and it really helps you. True, true, true. आप एक simple example ले लो. एक काम वाली बाई है जो चार घर में काम करती है, या एक मामी है जो construction site पे बैठ लेके ऊपर चढ़ती है, उतरती है with the full pregnancy. Yes, yes. She will come here, and she will push the baby out in one hour, two hours. And At otherwise, the same time, otherwise yes. You take a female who works the same hours, but she's working in the office in an AC office. She doesn't walk. Right. And she will have a labor phase that will last a ten, twelve hours. Ten, twelve hours. And maybe hours. still she'll fail to have a normal delivery. So exercise is so important. It is not just going to the doctor, getting blood tests done, getting sonographies done, taking your medicines at the right time. This all will not help you. True. See, I'm not saying that all of them will make to normal delivery. There may be some other conditions, like you have medical conditions, high blood pressure, some problem with your sugar, something to do with your metabolism, and you may go wrong, and you might have to do a C-section. Right. You might have to do a cesarean section to protect the baby as right. well. Right. Right. But unless and until you exercise, you've not put in your hundred percent 
to go for a normal delivery true 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 and exercises even make prepare you mentally yeah that that's that's that confidence comes to push only if you worked it's all about pushing i yes. mean you're one of the doctors i know who basically talks about going into labor and actually delivering a baby so that's that's so very nice so you go nice. to the whole western world they'll tell you walk walk and walk yes. and don't walk with a slow pace you know walk as fast as your body lets can, you can you do, can do it exactly right. now ma'am the other the other question that i would want you to tell i mean through this platform is that most of the times what happens is that when you when a cust when a when a patient comes to you or i would not see the word patient if a mother a new mother is going to come to you and uh, usually a lot of women have this problem of whether they are asking the right thing from the doctor so say for instance i mean uh, i i'm pregnant let's assume that i am pregnant i come to you and i have a lot of reservations a lot thought process ki aap puch rahe ho barabar aise ke nahi rahe no but we tell them at the end of the whole session i always tell my patients pare ka so puchu che ha don't hesitate do you want to ask me whether you can have sexual intercourse or not yes you can have sexual intercourse till 7 and a half months till i say no if you have any problem i'll restrict they ask me what we can eat so i tell them you eat healthy right. you eat at home as far as possible don't binge on to pasta pizza pastry popcorns you can eat sometimes you are young if you go out you may eat outside sometimes true, true. but every day don't eat menda menda and potato potatoes and cheese cheese right and they do listen right they do listen yes so when it comes to fitness or when it comes to exercise what are the questions that a woman should ask their doctor any doctor who they are visiting see i think we should make them aware that exercises are not a no no during pregnancy that is the first thing okay. you can exercise during pregnancy in fact you can exercise all nine months of pregnancy you can exercise post delivery also that will help you to gain back your pre pregnancy levels much faster right so they can exercise pre pregnancy sometimes we tell them you want to get pregnant faster lose weight you are 90 kg you need to go down 20 kg and you'll get pregnant faster because right. more exercises better is the quality of the egg Absolutely. better is the quality of the sperm Absolutely. so if the exercise it is going it helps them to get pregnant if the exercise the nine months are easy and if the exercise they can get back to the pre pregnancy levels much faster for me uh, in a, in my home you know uh, i've got two daughters for me basically they getting their their periods you know it was a matter of celebration for me because they, they are they are that they're, means they're normal they're, they're normal everything is normal everything is good in their body the system is working absolutely fine now when there are other people that come you know most of the female customers that talk to me is like you know um, i want to lose this i want to do that i want to do this but i have a certain problem uh, and i ask them i usually know the answer also and i ask them i said could you please let me know what your medical condition is and they discuss about this particular term as if they've got some cancer or something yeah. it is called I, it is it is it is called pcos and pcod yeah so this is the most common excuse that comes to me from a lot of lot of young women and i would want to know from your 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 medium in is in fact kalash i'll tell you that the whole treatment for pcos or pcod whatever you say hmm. is lifestyle management we've got very little to do with it, do right. in that right right the whole uh, syndrome pcos is polycystic ovarian syndrome right instead of making one egg per month the ovary starts making multiple, multiple. small eggs so it is poly right right so wo mala kaisi hoti hai beads ke jaise ha, ha, ha. aise ovary mein bahut sare ande ban jate hain bilkul so none of them mature and none of them rupture and she doesn't have period at the right time right. and she keeps on putting weight now the main treatment for pcos is exercise thank you so much yeah we tell them we give them confidence we tell them lose 10% of your existing weight fat 10% of your existing weight and you going to be good Yes. then you're not going to need hormones you're not going to need a doctor so basically pcod is polycystic ovarian disease so different countries it is some countries they call it pcod some country the countries they call it pcos true, true. but there's an epidemic of pcos nowadays out of when i went to a school checkup i found that class 11 girls out of uh, about 68 girls one of the affluent schools of baroda out of 68 girls almost 32 or 34 were overweight and in that 
almost 30 had PCOS. I, I would say that India is the capital for child obesity. Our, our, our playgrounds are becoming smaller and smaller. Our buildings are becoming taller Tom, and Tom. bigger. I think that sports wala jo concept hai, wo school se ya ghar se bhi thoda aana chahiye. Bilkul, bilkul. But parents are the role models for the children. True. If Kailash doesn't exercise, how is Padma Jha going to do it? True, true, true. So if you want to, if you want your children to run, or if you want your children to swim or to exercise, basically you need to get up at six in the morning and go out. It's not even necessary that you need to get up at six in the morning. It's more about time management. It, yeah, yeah, I it's agree. It's more about time management, ma'am. Through this medium of Ava Vadodara. What will be your message to all the citizens of Vadodara, especially women, that how important is fitness for women during pregnancy or without being pregnant? What is how what will be your message? See, fitness is mandatory, regardless of your pregnancy status. Whether you are 16 or whether you are 36 or whether you are 60, you right. have to be fit. True. You have to be fit. You have to be able to do everything on your own, even in your old age. Right. That should be the concept. And, right, see, it definitely improves your, at 16, it gives you a different confidence. You are, you are a different person. You have self-esteem. And you, if you talk to somebody, you're talking with confidence. True. So that all comes only from fitness. True. If you're obese, you're shy. Absolutely. You don't want to go in the public. You don't like your own self-image. Same thing at 36. Right. Whatever the profession is, even if you're good in your profession, but I think fitness should be there because nowadays the hazards of technology are bringing in so many modern diseases. Right. Like hypertension, diabetes, thyroid, cardiovascular accidents. A whole lot. The list is long. The list is very, very long. It is endless. Including your joints and muscles yes, yes, and yes, even yes, your yes, brain. Yes, yes. So, if you exercise, the brain is go also going to remain very agile. You're going to push Alzheimer's and you're going to push Parkinsonism. So, bottom line is exercise, 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 regardless of the age. Excellent. So, you are the doctor that fitness is the most mandatory thing that everyone should follow. And with this, I thank you, ma'am, for being a part of the show, giving us so much of insights on this. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also come up with this amazing thing called the Fit India Movement. Please, please go to a gym next to your home, near your home, near your office. Get yourself active. And we promise you to get you interesting people with a lot of insight about health and fitness. Until then, stay fit and be awesome. Peace out.